My first impression of Cindy was actually in a softball game. She got a ball hit to her. Cindy grabbed the ball and just chucked it back to like second base. And I thought that was cool. She was loud the whole time. I do remember that. He was like really talkative and outgoing, but like whenever I'd talk to him, it wasn't uncomfortable. It wasn't like, oh man, I gotta think of something else to say. He's always happy. Like if I'm having a bad day, it doesn't matter. He's always, always happy. And he's adventurous. He's always like, okay, let's go snowboarding. Let's go climbing. Let's go do this or that, you know? So he just keeps me always on my toes. I like that she finds fun in little things. She always follows through with everything she does. I knew very early on that it was different with Cindy than anybody else. I really like had fun hanging out with him. I knew that he was someone that I could see myself, you know, continuing to be with for like a long time because we just had fun together and it was a natural fun just like friends would do. And then it just developed and finally it was like, you know, I'm ready to marry this person. I have a really close family, so moving away from my family, I I'm looking forward to like making a home again and doing that with Cindy. Is, I don't know, that's something I've been looking forward to. I think love is like a big thing. It's not just the lovey-dovey stuff. Love is also loving someone when there's bad times and when there's good times. Love is having fun with that person and going on adventures and doing things together. It's love is I don't know, I just feel like love is a, more than just just the ooey gooey I love you stuff. It's loving someone no matter what the good times and the bad. I can finally breathe 